Good morning! It's our last day in Roma. Zach does not appreciate my introductions, but that's fine. Um, and today we're just going to the baths of... Zach, I think we've gone in the wrong entrance. I think the entrance is that way. Pretty sure that it says right here, ticket office, it's that way. Oh, okay, yep, you're right. And the entrance is this way as well. This okay. is like when we were walking yesterday and you were like, oh, we're going in the wrong direction. And then we ended up exactly where we had to be because you okay. don't trust me. Well, apparently. And we're at the baths of Dirkulada. AKA the Roman National Museum, so. This is amazing. Zach, they found a cat from first century AD who's still alive. This is weird. In the middle of all of these ancient items. Florence. It's bloody cold. It's freezing. We quite nice actually. <laughs> um, we are. I don't even really know where we are. We're just standing. Seth, Seth and two. We're standing we're in, in a square. Yeah, we're standing. A we're standing in a piazza, looking at a pretty incredible view, which you'll see pretty soon. What is it? It's the backside of this horse. Kidding. It's actually the. Dome. <laughs> Some dome thing that we don't know what it is yet. Yes, we do. We're going there in a couple of days. Ah. And then behind us is this pretty awesome church that we weren't allowed inside of. <laughs> it's a bit of a sad square. I thought it would be a bit more happening, but. It might light up at that time. Yeah. Also, it's nice to be in a nice location without people hassling us to buy oh my god and flowers and, and like selfie sticks and oh my god and charges and bracelets it was really stressful in yeah there's no, there's no spanish steps to accidentally <laughs> wander on <laughs> <laughs> having aperitif at Kitch two two and um, it's essentially like you go in you get some drinks and you get a buffet and we paid for the buffet 24 euros for, for both of us and Who are you looking at? I don't know just in case someone's coming <laughs> and um, we couldn't figure out if we needed to pay for the drinks separately or if they were included so we asked our waiter he didn't speak English. We asked somebody else. She didn't speak English. She brought someone who spoke English. We explained it to him and he was like, yep, yep, cool. You had a Bellini and you had a beer. Okay, great. Got it. And then he came back with two more drinks. So, and then asked for more money. <laughs> so, fun fact, Aperitif does include your drinks. Don't pay extra. Fun fact, from Italy. We're here at My Sugar, the 26th gelato winners and I'm gonna have tiramisu and peanut and Zach is having stracciatella and milk chocolate. 